revolutionary inventions detailed by Dr. Pais and his string of mind-blowing patents truly sound like science fiction. But according to the United States Navy, they're modeled off of advanced theoretical concepts dubbed the Pais effect, which they say have been demonstrated to be real. And if real, these patents and devices could revolutionize our current air, space, and underwater craft, not to mention create nearly unlimited clean energy for the world. To be sure, these patents submitted by Dr. Pais are out there, and I mean way out there. So far out there, in fact, that the USPTO office initially denied these patents. But just as swiftly as they were denied, the US Navy stepped in and vouched not only for the science of Dr. Pais and his patents, but also their efficacy. In fact, to support these claims, the US Navy built prototypes of some of the futuristic tech to prove that they actually worked. So the question I have is, where did Dr. Pais get the ideas for these wild devices? And why did the US Navy go out of their way to support his claims that they worked? I mean, we're talking about some pretty crazy stuff here, you know, including plasma compression fusion device, a patent for an unconventional propulsion spacecraft engine that works using inertial mass reduction, which is also described in the patent paperwork as a hybrid transmedium aerospace underwater craft. Then there's the piezoelectricity inducing high temperature superconductors, a patent for an electromagnetic field generator, and another for a high frequency gravitational wave generator. It all gets pretty weird pretty quickly. And it's easy to see why these submissions by Dr. Pais have been dubbed the UFO patents. Interesting to note, the US Navy made its case to the USPTO office that the science outlined was not only sound, but also made a strong case that they were necessary because the US was behind in development of what China was supposedly already working on. And even more crazy than reading this and the write-ups for these devices is that eventually they were actually approved. If you enjoyed this Beyond Strangeness Observable and you'd like to see the whole episode, that is linked here and in the description below. I'll see you again soon. Take care, my friend.